Hey, you guys, this is not a welcome back. This is official welcome to Doll Talk because we have rebranded, we have name changed. We're in a new season. We're in a new year. I haven't filmed for weeks. So I'm feeling really good to be here today. And I have a very special lady beside me, okay? If you're from the DMV, you should know Miss Janae Music. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi. You just made me feel real special. Very special lady. Ooh. Yeah, I'm well, blushing. special. <laughs> look. A lot of people ain't flexing their chops out here. You know, like really going after what they like to do and yeah. stuff like that. So that's why you're special to me. Oh, well, thank you. Yes. Thank you so much for me my day. Do your shit. Nah. You know, <laughs> out here. <laughs> uh -huh. I'll be trying. Okay, so uh, let's get into a little introduction about you. Okay. Tell them your name, what you do, and how you got into doing music. Okay, so I'm um, Janae Music. Uh, I'm a music artist, singer, songwriter, rapper, when I want to be. It kind of, it varies. <laughs> I love that. Um, honestly, that is such a long story. When people ask that, I just be like, huh? Um, because I really kind of, like, I think I think about, like, all the things that people want to hear in terms of, like, origin story, I guess. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's like, takes me back to childhood, where it's like, the very first time I discovered I could sing, and I'm like, oh, I could sing. And then, like, the whole school choir moments Period. and, uh, you know, then, like, when I decided to, like, actually pursue music. Mm -hmm. So all the, they're, like, different stages in my life where I was, like, a different person each time. Mm -hmm. And music has, like, created a shift for me. Okay. So, yeah. But I think uh, first time that I really, like, decided to pursue music was, like, what was that, like 2015, I think? Um, okay. Mm -hmm, a, a minute it's ago. It's almost 10 years. It's almost 10 years. So 2015, um, this guy named Zeppelin, uh, he was producing it, I think WKYS. Mm -hmm. Or WPGC, I don't know. That name sounds familiar, though. Yeah. And so he he, he runs Amped. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so uh, we... He did, like, a, a competition. That was the first time that I really got to, like, perform on stage and stuff like that. And then after that, I started doing, like, open mics. Okay. So then I started writing music, and that was kind of where I got it. Okay. I got bit by the bug. I was going to ask you when you noticed you can sing. Because I swear, y'all, I swear I be noticing I can sing. And then I sing another song, and bitch, no, you cannot. I'm a, this is the thing. <laughs> I, <laughs> there's a difference for me. Like, I think that everybody can sing. Honestly. With like a vocal coach? Not even that. I think that if you find your your lane, mm -hmm. like it you can there's one song in this world that any anybody can find a song that is their song and they can sing it. Like I, I don't know why. Nobody can tell me that that's not the case. Like you can sing a song. You just gotta find your note, the tone. Yeah. It's gotta be perfect for you. You can sing. Even cigarette smokers. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was so left field. Even what? cigarette smokers. No, because you know they be having that rasp sometimes. So when did you know that you could sing? And what song was it? Oh, my God. It's a song that I listen to every freaking day. So uh, when I was, I want to say I was like eight, mm -hmm. um, my dad used to drive me and my sisters to school. And we had just moved. We moved from D.C. to Fort Washington. And so we still went to school in Southeast, though. Mm-hmm. So my father would drive us to school every morning, and we listen to this this little morning playlist, and uh, it's a gospel song, the um, I Love You, Lord, Today. Okay. And, like, we used to, he used to make all of us sing, like, not even playing. Everybody sing. Oh. I don't know what it was, but one morning, my sisters was like, I'm not singing today. And they both were just, like, laying down, sleepy. So you had your solo. I had my solo. And my dad turned the music down and was like, hold on, youngin. Oh. I hear you back there. And I'm like, me. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, you sound good, shorty. And I'm like, I sound good. And I'm like, okay. So then I was like, I can sing. And then my sister started, like, shopping me around. Like, we started finding songs that actually sounded good for me. Alicia Keys was it for a while. Mm -hmm. And then she would tell people, like, my sister can sing. And they'd be like, let me hear you. And I'd be like, no. And she did. So she'll get people to pay me or she would pay me, like, a dollar or five dollars to sing. I love that. Is that the <laughs> sister I met? With the locks? Yes. Yeah. Her biggest supporter, y'all. Yes. We um we both did a show. I want to say when was it? It was on my son's birthday. It was November twenty first. Uh, don't judge. <laughs> um, 
What if well, there's a stage in there or some mic? There's Come a on, so. amen. Where you belong? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So me and Janae were on that show together, and I was like, "Who are y'all here to see, y'all? Sister, loudest one in the audience. <laughs> Janae, music." <laughs> <laughs> I love then, her. Then I saw her backstage and I was like, you are so supportive. She like, is. ask me where the fuck my brother was at. Oh, let me tell you about my sister. Let me, I might cry. Oh, that is sweet. No, for real. Like, so my father raised us. Like, we all are real tight. Mm -hmm. We talk every day. How honestly. many of y'all is it? A girl too many to name. <laughs> um, in terms of like the older ones, because he has younger kids too. Because, oh. you know. Don't look gonna, that. Niggas gonna nig. Do your thing. Do no, thing. don't do no. no more things. No more things. But if he can take care of them. No more things, though. Okay, Your no more kids things. is my kid age. Hmm. That's a problem. No more things. No more things. <laughs> <laughs> An uncle that's younger. That, that, they the same age. This, listen, so my my son and my little sister are like, they might go to the same school next mm -hmm. year. And so she like got everybody calling him Neff. He like, bro. <laughs> like, really? Stop. Stop it. She like, yeah, Neff, Neff. She's like, everybody gonna call you Neff, okay? I'm like, hey. He like, nah, I'm not, I don't even wanna go there no more. I'm good. I'm crying. <laughs> but no, so my sister is, like you said, super supportive. Mm -hmm. My biggest supporter. Actually, she let me, for a year, she held, she held on to my kid for me for a school year. Okay. So I could go and work on some music. And it was just the greatest gesture of all time. Oh, that's so sweet. No, for real. She's the greatest, the sweetest, the, uh, Yeah. That's amazing. No, I just told you, you she guys, just moved away. Yes, you guys are so close in age. Are you guys close in age? No, no. she older. Oh, you would never know. I know. She I ain't going to say my girl childish, but she looks really young. I mean both. She childish too, but she does look <laughs> young. She knows she childish. She knows she childish, I'm but crying. she does She does look really young. People say her that all the time. I'm like, girl, grow up. She's like, never. <laughs> I'm crying. So last week, I went to the past. We figured out how you knew. You, you knew you knew. How to sing. Okay. Um, what was like a moment where you like, all right, I'm gonna sing for real, like as, you know, a mm -hmm. career. You know, we got nine we all artists have nine to fives. Yeah. Artists, content creators, the ones who said they quit their job. Mm-hmm. They got something we don't have or something. Because I, I... I'm not working right now, but... Oh, well, shit. I'm just speaking for myself. No, no, no. <laughs> you're not. Um, I actually... I, I worked for... I've, I've been working. Mm -hmm. I've had, you know, jobs. Actually, my company shut down, so I got laid off some months ago. Mm. But, uh, you know, in terms of, like, income and, like, what I'm used to making, I was like, I'm not settling for no little-ass petty job. Yeah. You know, um, until I absolutely need to. I'm also very fiscally responsible. Um, and I'm fiscally smart, so I I do have my finances in order. So I'm pretty much just taking care of things based off of my finances and how I manage things. So I get you away. You need with to it. come fiscally rub some of that on me. Cause <laughs> I, I got cannot. you. I got you. I will absolutely help you. Let yeah, me know. I I, I I'm can do that. so bad at saving. Really? Look at me. <laughs> I feel you. I'm no. being fabulous. <laughs> Fabulous. It costs. That's why you need to switch the sneakers and get out of them heels. Yes. <laughs> I just bought a pair of sneakers. Actually, when me and my boyfriend went to Houston for my birthday, we did this rock climbing thing. Ooh. We're going to get back to Janae. This is not about me. But <laughs> he bought the sneakers and they were like 160 I was like, wow, I don't think I've ever met a shoe so cheap. Like, unless it was like Fashion Nova. That's I buy, so cheap. <laughs> I buy shoes from like, you know, boutiques, Fashion Nova, mm -hmm. little stuff. I might buy me a little $70 heel. But I might look. I love a good. You see... I, I, wore these to, I wore Come these on. to prom. Period. Okay? So I love a little designer shoe, and I just think that sometimes I don't always need it. But I do wear my stuff, too. I'm not one of those display case girls. Okay. We're going to rub off the bottom, and that's okay. That is okay. But I will say, though, I believe in buying the things that make you feel good. It's mm -hmm. an investment into your spirit, into your energy, your yeah. mental health. Like, if that makes you feel good, then do what the hell makes you feel good. Exactly. And looking nice does make me feel good. And that's all that matters. Yes. Period. Okay, so back to you. We were at when you first decided that you were going to take music seriously. Oh, so what yeah. did that look like? So that was the thing with Zeppelin. Um, it was a, a competition. Mm -hmm. And uh, Chucky Thompson was one of the judges. R.I.P. to Chucky Thompson. I'm so sad that he's gone. Um, and it was just, honestly, it was a really cool experience. I, mm -hmm. We had like, it was like we were competing against other um, people, and we just had a really good time. And we had to do like this uh, joined performance on the stage, and mm -hmm. we did. Uh, I want to dance with somebody, okay. Houston. And so it was five of us, and we all had like different parts in the song. 
And so we get up there and we performing. And I just had a fucking blast. This is my first time really like on a stage that was like, you know, a big ass stage. Mm-hmm. And it had a huge audience. And I was like, I just felt so alive. And it was crazy because mm-hmm. the day of the performance, I came with my period. And when I come with my period, I be so sick. Mm-hmm. And so I was panicking because I had on like a body con dress. And I don't like wearing panties with my body con dress. I don't like wearing panties, period, honestly. So Twins. I do <laughs> I do when I'm on my period. So my period came and I'm panicking because I don't even know if I had panties. So I think I had to call my sister to bring me some. Mm-hmm. And so I don't feel good. But when I got on that stage, something just took over me and I didn't even feel the period no more. And I was just like, this you is felt it. Yeah. Yeah. It was just electrifying. So I was like, yeah, I think I'm just going to do this full time. Yes. <laughs> For you. So what does doing music full time look like? Because you write your own music mm-hmm. as well. Yeah. So tell me, tell me like a day to day of Janae music when she's working on music. Okay. So um, right now it'll look like if I get up, you know, well, I still got to take care of my kids. So mm-hmm. get him off the school. Um, I might go to the gym, you know, got to keep my cardio up in some way, shape or form. Mm-hmm. I'm trying not to get fat because I eat a lot. Um, but Jim, um, and then if I have, if I'm able to connect with somebody, like get into a session, then it's like, I'll go into a session and like, we'll go through beats. We'll just listen to what beats feel good or what, you know, registers or connects with us. Mm -hmm. We both agree on it. Then it's like, we'll just start coming up with it. It may look like us coming up with melodies for it and us just kind of like laying hums down. Mm Um, and then thinking Who of a topic. Who is going to be on set? <laughs> 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 we think of a topic like, all right, so what you feeling? What you thinking? Mm-hmm. What you want to talk about? Then it's like a whole discussion where it's like, but honestly, sometimes it turns into an argument. Shout out uh, <laughs> my man. Who the fuck is LV? It's really love. His name is love. It's black love. Oh, okay. But um, yeah, we he and I, I work best with him, but we go back and forth. We butt heads all the time because he stresses me out on conversation. But that's somebody <laughs> that, cares about your oh, music. Oh, for sure. Yeah. He brings out the best in me, honestly, I feel like so far out of anybody that I work with. Like, okay. he's like, he's like, so, but what are you trying to say? And I'm, I'm more, I'm very direct in my words. Mm-hmm. As just as a person, you know, when I communicate, I'm direct. I don't, sugarcoat I don't bullshit yeah. I'm not metaphoring only time I'm gonna do that is when I realize you're not getting it mm-hmm. and then I gotta break it down in like layman's terms or a way that a kid talk can talk to you get like it. a five year old yeah but other than that I'm gonna be very direct mm-hmm. and so that's how I am you know with my music and sometimes he be like that's not gonna work right now and mm-hmm. so the frustration for me then be like well nigga what you want me to say right. and he like but say it more elegantly and I'm like how so then like it's kind of like us kind of coming back and forth mm-hmm. bouncing back um, and then we'll just like lay some stuff down. I'll go back home, listen to it on the ride home, just keep playing it over and over again, figuring out what else I want to say into it. I'll start writing stuff down, come back, whatever that looks like. But honestly, a lot of my day to day is like a mom role. I'm cooking mm-hmm. and cleaning all day. Um, I'm a, a cooking and cleaning is therapy for me okay. in a lot of ways. So I like eating. I like cleaning. I like cooking. That's what I be doing day in and day out. Gym, cooking and cleaning. I don't like no cooking now. I love cooking. I like to cook. My son is like a two-trick pony, babe. (laughs) He wants a chicken egg. He wants a macaroni and cheese. He don't want to eat anything else. And it's like, baby, I want to make salmon. I want to make lamb chops. So, like, technically when I cook, I cook one meal for myself and then one meal for Jace. Oh, man. I am not that mom. I'm going (laughs) to kick him out. I, listen. You want to take a listen? Let me tell you something. I realized and this, and I think the younger generation, like the littles, they really got it good. They're like, I'm not eating that. And as parents, we are like, okay, <laughs> not me though, not mine. I'm just saying, like, but my like my niece, my best friend, her daughter is like that. She's a chicken nugget eating somebody. Chicken nugget, chicken. And whenever tender. she come to my house, I'd be like, Did you eat? She'd be like, No. Well, are you eating? Right. <laughs> I'm only making one meal. Right, yeah. <laughs> and she'll be like, I guess. Right. I'm like, girl, don't come in here wasting my food. But she know what it is. So a lot of times we try to get her to, I'm getting her to try new foods mm-hmm. because I'm like, you got to. Like, they do it for some people. They do. Sometimes, but it's the thing. Sometimes I got to force it. But it's all right. She's very limited in what she like, though. If She don't even like chicken wings. She literally just peels the skin off the chicken wings and doesn't eat the chicken. Well... <laughs> she's innovative. She says she likes them for the inside of them, not the out. And I 
I can't blame you, baby No, girl. she only eats the skin. Oh, she, she only will likes not the eat outside. the meat. Okay, she doesn't know what they're like inside. And she doesn't like that. Child, well, how you eating fucking chicken tendon and chicken nugget? <laughs> I don't even get it. I'm like, that is this. No she, It may be the texture for her. You making all types of excuses. <laughs> Baby girl, if you need she me to go to Auntie House, I will come defend you She'll about your eating habits. Spaghetti. You listen, you ain't got to defend her, but come bring her a meal because I'm not, <laughs> I'm not giving her anything other than what's in my house. She be okay. alright. She gonna be healthy and strong. Okay, so let's talk about momming. Okay. How is being a boy mom for you? I'm a boy mom as well. Your son is older. Yeah, but. Um, she all she was like she wanted a boy. She didn't want a girl. I'm crying because we had this conversation. <laughs> I was drunk as shit at a Christmas party and we had this conversation. And I was just looking at her like, you wanted a boy? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, so for me, at the time, you know, when it happened, I was really like athletic, really into sports. Mm-hmm. I was just like, I don't know anything about like girl stuff. My mm-hmm. father initially raised me to be like his son. So it was really in my head, I'm like, oh, my God, a baby. And I'm like, a girl, I got to do her hair. I got to paint her nails. I don't even do that shit myself. Mm. I'm a ponytail wearing somebody. As you can see, I have locks, baby. We're going to wear a cap. We're going to keep it simple. Um, <laughs> so I'm just like. You do wear your hair in cute styles, though. Girl, because my best friend's a hairstylist, so sometimes she'll just be like, I'm going to experiment on your okay. hair. And I'll be like, okay. That's the only time my hair really be like in something different. Mm-hmm. Best friend. She goes, her, what is her thing? Brokencombs.cc. Okay. Little plug, sorry. <laughs> As you should. But yeah, she, no, she's great. And she does little fancy stuff. But yeah, having a boy, I was just like, I'm also very rough. Mm-hmm. I'm not, uh, like I said, I'm very direct. I'm not the the gentle, like, oh, it's okay. I'm like, well, get, 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 get up. <laughs> <laughs> it worked out. So I was just like, I want a boy because I know, like, it's going to be rough. And I feel like, it may be easier for me. I would feel more comfortable teaching a boy to be independent than I would teaching a girl. Mm-hmm. And I knew I was having him young, and I knew that I was going to be doing it on my own. So I was like, if I am if I got to be tough on anybody, I would rather be tough on a boy than be tough on a girl. Yeah. I, I don't ever want to be tough on girls. Mm-hmm. And so to me, it was like I needed a boy. And God gave me that. And I was like, he knew my heart. He know what I need. I don't know what God was knowing at my house. Because... <laughs> I didn't want a boy. I wanted a girl, but everybody says I'm the perfect boy mom. But I guess it's just because, like you, I'm not a beat around a bush person. Mm -hmm. But I feel like I could have been soft with a girl, you know? I don't know. I'm a girly girl, so I feel like I wanted to... I want a mini me. I know you want to. You want to. We're gonna get our nails painted together. We're gonna get our hair done together. We're gonna have. Yeah, I get it. That's and I'm not. People be having little girls, and they be like, I don't even know how to do hair. I do. (laughs) (laughs) Give them hair. I went to hair school. I know. I feel that. I I know how to do hair too. So I'm cool. Like, but my son has locks, so I do his locks. You know. I just honestly, I enjoyed being a boy mom though. I felt like it was. He was the easiest kid. I think that's also why I'm like scared to have kids moving forward because I'm like they gonna give me. They hell. say the second is just terrible, baby. Hopefully, I have a girl for my second. I say I'm having a baby at thirty. I have two years to get this shit together. My mm-hmm. life, that is. <laughs> well, we gonna get you fiscally responsible. Oh, definitely because because <laughs> babies ain't no joke. Them motherfuckers cost too much money, and like the world right now just costs so much money. That's what I be telling people. I'm like, I don't even understand how y'all even want to have babies right now. It costs too much damn money. Shit, it costs money for me to live. I gotta pay for you to live too. And to me. live nice, you know, some people have kids that don't really give a fuck. Like yeah. I don't believe in like way more kids than bedrooms type mm-hmm. thing. But like a lot of people have just be having kids. Like I be seeing people pregnant every year and I'm like, damn. Yeah, where you must you live work? in a you must live in a five bedroom house. They don't. <laughs> Two bedroom apartment. See, and that's that right there, that be the stressful part for me. Mm-hmm. Cause I feel like I'm a I'm a I, I love kids. Mm-hmm. And so I feel like <sighs> you doing them a disservice. Yeah. You I don't believe you should bring kids in the world unless you have everything that they need and like my friends be like oh Nadira that's so like but I have a kid Mm -hmm. and I had that kid in my mom's house and I struggled yeah and like I had a interesting time with my baby father so like I know better yeah I don't know why people don't know better because after you do it once it's like babe girl I'll see the clinic and we'll (laughs) we'll revisit this at 30 we'll revisit the crazy thing is I really don't know 
I don't know the disconnect. And I just be like, are you, why? I get wanting to have kids and wanting to love on and a legacy and all of that. But I feel like at that moment, you got to then have the tenacity to say, I got to grind. I got to figure this out, mm-hmm. make sacrifices. Like, I feel like people be so wrapped up in living life and they be like, yeah. this is a part of what it's going to turn into. And it's like, no, bro, you are not preparing for what's to come. And honestly, I don't think that you can ever be prepared for a yeah, kid. Yeah, too perfect, yeah. But at the end of the day, you can be prepared. Yeah. And we just don't be prepared, bro. <laughs> yeah, and that's why people, kids, is the ones out here stealing these cars and shit like that. I yeah. like, I can't have my son out here like that, babe. We go to private school. I mean, you know, not that that changes anything, mm-hmm. but we go to private school. We do activities. We don't listen to too much NBA young boy around this bitch. You know, we <laughs> we be relaxed. You setting him up so that way he has different outlets, and it's also a space of he knows better. Don't talk about my drinking. I ain't talking about your drinking, I need it. girl. I, listen. Look, Janae gonna take a sip to try to make it seem like I'm not drinking alone, but Janae is not a drinker like me. You're not drinking alone. I'm gonna try to keep up with you. Okay, wait a minute. Let me drink this so that you can give me another. (laughs) Choke, choke. (laughs) What? (laughs) All right, now. We might have to stay after for an extra 30 minutes. No, that's fine, Janae. I I usually stay in here anyway. (laughs) Make sure I can. Oh, you should see us on on a bottle of Don Julio day. Oh Lord! Okay, we're we're, well, we're sick individuals. Forward. Not we're sick individuals. <laughs> it's terrible in this in this uh in this place. Guys, we have our live show, the Tequila Talk live show, March sixteenth. That's mm-hmm. a Saturday. We got a Saturday at Union Stage. Mm-hmm. Tickets are in the Tequila Talk bio, in my bio, in Walt's bio, or if you go to UnionStage.com. Tickets are the same price, $25. You have $25. Come check us and out. And a $35 ticket for people that want to sit in the front. Last yes. time we did it, we sold out last time. Yeah. Last time we did it, people were fighting to be in the front. Like, okay, so now we have designated those, seating. Those front seats are $10 more. That's all. $10 Simply $10. More. Simply $10. Y'all got $10. Okay. I um I really wanted to ask you those questions about your son, but I'm not done with your music. Okay. I want to know what you have coming right now. Do you have any shows, any new releases, music videos, whatever you're doing? LMG, yes. A lot, a lot. I have so much going on. So um, this year I've decided I'm going to release a song at the on the last day of every month. Okay. Yes. It's been fun, but it's been trying. So I just released a song three days ago. Okay, okay. It's called Nights Like This. It is an R&B vibe. It's like a little... It gives me like Raw Waves vibes a little bit. But Mm. not fully. Okay. But I love it though. Actually, I I really enjoy it. Um, The last song that I put out before then is called So Sick. Um... I know so sick. Yes. So it's like a little, right now I'm in my little heartbreak stage, you know. It's so funny because... Are you heartbroken? No, we're talking about music. We'll get there. (laughs) Look, my friend was listening and was like, why all these songs so sad? I was like, um, maybe I'm sad. You can't be sad. Get out of that shit. And I'm like, yeah, but but the girlies relate to music like that. I'm like, man, listen, y'all niggas is just, yeah. (laughs) So, yeah, I'm so sick of y'all. And uh, nights like this, I'm just fucking bothered. (laughs) So I do. I'm doing a release every month, uh, and then um, I want to work on some visuals, but. Honestly, I am, I am, I have a hard time with that because I'm one of the people that's like, remember I was saying earlier, like content is just difficult for me. Mm-hmm. Like I have ideas and if it don't come out the way I want it, I don't even you know you be it. over it. Yeah. So I've had, you know, I have visuals that I need to put out um, and I probably will. I will. I just. You, you got to pair the song with a visual. I mean, you don't have to, well, of I, this is the, These are songs that are already out. They out, oh, they've okay. been promoted, all of that. I just didn't put the visuals out. My challenge is to add the videos to the end of the month release as mm. well. See, try to release song and video. Okay, I'm gonna work on that. Um, I'm, I'm, ugh. I struggle. I don't. Also, it's just you know, as an artist, I kind of I do everything on my own mm-hmm. right now. Um, and so it's like kind of like you know, booking events, booking shows, um, booking dancers, getting rehearsals together, coming up with choreography, mm-hmm. all the things. It's just me. So it's like. I feel sometimes I feel scattered, like I'm all over the okay. place. Yeah, things, and then it's also personal life things that you know gotta occur. I still gotta pay bills. Yeah, still gotta make sure my son got my son is in activities, so I still gotta show up every which way. Yeah, um, all those things. So it's just all over the place. But back to music. I'm sorry. Um, right now I don't have uh, any visuals for the songs that I'm releasing right now, but I do want to shoot some visuals. Okay. Um, and then um, I am. Ooh, this is random. I recently got casted in a show. Ooh, what show? Or are you not allowed to tell us yet? Um, no. So listen, I'm gonna say this. I'm only. I don't know when this is gonna be dropped. 
We try to drop on Friday after we film. Okay. Um. So try as of right now. <laughs> as of right now, I don't know the name of the show. So there's a show called um, Double Cross. Okay. On the All Black Network. I have heard of that. Yeah, and so they have a spinoff show. They were okay. shooting in L.A., so they have a spinoff show that they're shooting in D.C. And so they had a casting call. I went, and I received an email saying they wanted to cast me. Okay. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited, too. Excited. And did you want to get into, like, acting and stuff? Yeah, so I've, mm-hmm. honestly, I've, I've acted since I was younger. Okay. I've done plays. I actually did, like, a musical. Like, I've done a lot of Jade, would you introduce yourself? You got to say musician, actress. Oh, actress. Entertainer, yes. Eh. Get into my girl. Janae the entertainer, like Cedric. Ooh. <laughs> I she got said she get a little rap for y'all. I got a little jokes too, you know. <laughs> they ain't funny, but it's okay. <laughs> You're a funny person. You are... Follow her on Twitter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do be wilding a little bit on Twitter. I was already saying, I, I need to pay for the little subscription thing, because... Get your point, coin. I was going to say, niggas are getting paid, and I didn't even think about it at first, because I was like, I ain't paying for that shit. I we just, ain't getting paid as much, though, because people would like... Three followers want to be, you know, the more people that enroll in something, the less money there is to shell out. Oh, but, got I mean, it. I don't know. I make at least $100 off of there, but they do it, like, in two two month increments. Mm-hmm. Well, on my, I don't know about everybody else, like, two month incre- increments. And if it's, like, a really good tweet, then I might make over 100 But, like, them first people that was doing that shit was making thousands. Damn. So is it, like, $100 off of one tweet? No, it may be a, a conjunction of tweets. Okay, okay. Because my little my little titty videos be going viral. <laughs> it's the girls. Your titty videos do, and selfies too. <laughs> hey, let's be real. The titty videos be the selfies though. That be the thing. The, the girls be right there, and they be like, and out of nowhere, just niggas be doop bloop bloop. I'm like, God damn, y'all love titties. <laughs> I ain't mad at it. I got it. But you're em. very pretty, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's the combination Thank of two. You. Combination. <laughs> what Drake say, yeah. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I said that in one of my recaps <laughs> recently. <laughs> and somebody was like, why are you saying it like that? <laughs> like, like DDG said, bump the clock. I'm like, dead. <laughs> That's me. I, I'm so bad at accent. Uh, me too. I am horrible. Did you see that? Somebody tweeted. They was like, if you had to, uh, would you, something about would you want to speak in a British accent? It was like a, would you rather? And one of the options was a Brit- British accent whenever you're in an argument. And I was like, oh, well, I'm going to fail at that. <laughs> I'd be trying. Don't I've, do it because we don't want you to get canceled. I do it on my TikTok uh, <laughs> lives because people from London and Chef be on there. A bitch. And they be okay with that? They don't be like, stop it. Right Apparently they love me in London. I just found that out. <laughs> I love that. That's funny as shit. I would be like, ma'am, no. They be like, <laughs> they be like, where are you coming? I'm like, y'all taking me to the club? <laughs> do they got clubs Listen, in London? Listen, they absolutely do. Have you been to London? I have not been to London. I'm about to say, why the fuck you ain't taking me? Were we not Girl. Cool well, we cool now. We can plan a trip. Yes. I actually was supposed to go to fucking London in September this year for my friend's birthday. And then he changed it to the Bahamas. I ain't mad because, you know. Fun and sun. Okay. The Bahamas beach, is really fun. Like, when you get off of, like, Star Island. Like, mm-hmm. don't stay on Star Island the whole time if you go to Bahamas. Okay. Make sure you go into... Cheetahs is a really good strip club. Ooh. Um... All, anywhere that's not on the island and like packed up, it's not expensive. The food is better. Mm-hmm. Everything like I was getting like drinks from like roadside shit. Okay, no drinks for you. Well, I, th- okay. I do a little. I'm just kidding. Let me stop. Let me stop being the alcohol police. I really need to stop that because they're gonna be like, we don't want to come on her show because she's an alcoholic. <laughs> that's not true. Actually, people really enjoy drinking. I'm just not people. That's good though. Be different. You know. Set aside. I'm trying to find, you know, what my thing is, but... We don't all need a substance. Sometimes we just are full of life. And I'm I feel like you're one life. of those people. I'm not going to lie. I definitely... I've tried shrooms before. Me too. And it did not work. I tried it like three times. It didn't work at all? No. How did you take it? So, actually, I tried it four times. The first time, I tried it as tea. Uh-huh. The shroom tea. Did nothing. I just felt relaxed. So, I just went to sleep. Mm-hmm. Second time, I did the candy bar. Did nothing. I felt relaxed. The person I'm with is fucking tripping, and I'm like, "How? <laughs> How are you?" And they that's bigger than me too. That's because your blood is clean. Nah, bro. <laughs> and they bigger than me too. Like I was like, "How did that happen?" Like 
And I'm sitting there irritated because I'm like, shut the fuck up. I want to get there. Like, but... just, yeah, giggling. Oh, my God. And I was like, you're not ready to go sleep yet? Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're not ready? I'm ready to go sleep. And then uh, after that, I tried to I tried to eat the shrooms, the actual shrooms, relax, went to sleep. Every time, just relax, went to sleep. Well, Janae, that may be like a really good sign about your brain. My, look, my friend tried to say, well, maybe it's because you just vibrate on a higher frequency yeah. and you don't need them. And I was like, but I want them. I'm crying. <laughs> I want to see colors in hallucinations. <laughs> no, what no dead shit? ass. <laughs> I've done them twice. Mm -hmm. Both in candy bar form. The first time me and my boyfriend like micro dosed him, he was high as fuck. I was not. Mm. But we did watch a movie that night and I was like crying, laughing. <laughs> <laughs> and like, but good cry. It was crazy. And he was like, are you okay? Like, so then the next day, because we still had some of the candy bar left, I said, fuck it. Fuck the micro dose. So I took like the rest of the candy bar, right? On my own, by myself. This is around the time when Around Mother's Day, J Lo's <laughs> mother had just came out. Oh, y'all! Wow. I watched that movie twice simply because of what the shrooms was doing to it. <laughs> oh my god, the colors were like going along my bedroom walls. I know you're so jealous. I am so <laughs> jealous. I am pissed the fuck off right now. I'm gonna go get two candy bars. And no, dead ass. <laughs> no, no. Like they make your stomach feel weird. I feel like when they're digesting. Mm -hmm. And then I also, that shit is nasty. You know, I also smoke. So okay. I, I was smoking, too. Uh, and then okay. I'm like, oh, okay. You was extra high end. It took, like, three hours to kick in. But when it did kick in, I was in the bed like, wow. Like, every time I closed my eyes, it was the Renaissance tour. I am fucking dead. I'm sick. I'm mad. Bro. It was so fun. I didn't get none of that. Never. Each time, I'm just like... Maybe they just didn't have a good batch of candy bars. But you know, so many people, different people sell those. That's true. That's true. That's true. I don't know because honestly, the person that I got them from, they was getting like raving reviews. So that's what made me get them because I was like, oh, yeah. I can not. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm like, oh, candy bars. I'm about to get me some shrooms. No. It didn't work. We'll try one day. Yes. Okay. So. Um, this is just a random question. What's your funniest or most embarrassing story about singing, about music? Hmm. Like a time where you was just like, oh, shit. Oh, girl, I got one. <laughs> it was so ghetto. It was so ghetto. <clears throat> what was this? Maybe like two years ago? Mm -hmm. Maybe three. I had a show out Baltimore. And I had these shoes. I mean, I had a whole outfit. It was real cute, right? <laughs> And I think I had on, like, blue, and then my shoes were white. They was, like, these white, like, chunky heel, mm -hmm. sandal type. It was so cute. And I'm like, bet. And I get out the car, and I start walking to the venue. Bitch, the motherfucking shoe broke. And I don't know. I don't even know how the shoe broke. I was like. Oh, the platform came off? The It was like the, I think it was like the strap part. Like, one oh. side of, like, the straps came out of the shoe. So, it's like, it wasn't no way to keep the shoe on my foot. So I was like, oh, I was kind of in a panic. Girl, I go, it's a boutique literally where my car parks. So I'm like, okay, boutique. Yes. Right on time. They didn't have no fucking shoes. You know what they had? Slippers. Sides. Slides. Did you wear slides? No, but fuzzy slippers. Oh, you went up there with the fuzzies. <laughs> <laughs> because I was performing within the next 30 minutes. Yeah, so you couldn't do anything I about that. I couldn't do nothing. I went up there with them damn fuzzy slippers. They was like knock off Uggs. You know them Uggs that like with the strap behind it, but they fuzzy. Oh my God. But they got the little platform. It was like those, so the, the slipper was flat. <laughs> There's no platform to it. Girl, I still wear them as my house slippers. But at the time, I was like, these gonna have to do. I was so embarrassed. Did you have on a dress? No, I had on, I had on jeans and like this cute top, but it had like an accent blue in it. Mm -hmm. And so when I seen the slippers, they had like reds and orange and yellow and I was like just give me the blue because I got the accent blue with my shirt <laughs> but I was in Baltimore and oh right you you were fine uh-huh no shade to Baltimore you guys have the best strippers in the world no nah, facts I love Baltimore strip I, clubs listen but uh yeah that was very embarrassing it was very funny I posted that shit on Instagram too because I was like when y'all see these videos posted of me with these slippers don't say shit to me my shoe broke <laughs> Where did you get the initial shoe from? Girl, I, my sister gave them to me. So I was just like, 
<laughs> oh my! Because they were so fucking cute too. She had just gave them to me like the week before, and I said, like, "Oh, bitch, I'm about to wear these shoes. They are so cute." Mm-mm. I would have been so pissed off, sister. Give me back the money Bro, that you paid for these. Let me tell you, I sent it to the group text, y'all. Look at these shoes. I'm like, specifically you. <laughs> the shoe broke. And I'm an hour away from my house. Was it a bunch of laughing emojis replied? Girl, was it? <laughs> they was like, oh, what you going to do? I'm oh, my like, God. Yo. You're lucky I wasn't in that group message, girl. Because no. I would have sent you my face with tears. <laughs> <laughs> my sister said, perform barefoot. They don't care. I was like, bitch, fuck you. Rihanna just performed barefoot in India. But they in India. They be barefoot. Well. <laughs> I thought she looked a little undone, but then when you say that. <laughs> they be barefoot. They don't was, care. They be on the dance floor barefoot. It was, <laughs> oh, I love, I don't know if they're Indian. I don't want to miss. Hey, look, my friend just said that to me the other day. My best friend was like, is it the Indians that do? <laughs> no, she said, is it the Ethiopians? I said, no, they're not Ethiopian at all. That's not Ethiopian. But when they do the line, when they hold each other's hands, <laughs> and then they slap the ground, and then they jump. I don't know who it is, I don't but get I like into them that. too. I like them too. No, I do too. But I Honestly, really I like everything Indians. that's outside of America. They be doing all We got of. too much boring shit going on. Like me, I need to go to an African wedding. I got my ones ready. Yes. I would prefer to be the woman there, but I'm going to be completely honest, probably not marrying African at all. <laughs> um. <laughs> I, you, that is so funny. Everybody says that. What, about the African weddings? No, about not marrying Africans. I mean, it ain't nothing, like, completely wrong with, like, African men. But, like, I just had an African male best friend, and he scarred me for life when he decided to confess his feelings for me. Um. And, like, no, brother. Mm. No, brother. Like, I don't know. And he, like, be talking about people believing in polygamy and shit like that. Like, if that's where you think See, you're that's the only thing. I, almost, I was about to be a, 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 a Muslim. I was ready. Look at your face. <laughs> I don't know how it was going to work with music, but I was going to figure it out for him because I was like, I was asking all the questions. So what does this mean? So what does that look like? So, <laughs> but he showed his ass. So amen. Hallelujah. What was his sign? Oh, shit. I don't know. Bro. I don't know. I'm not really into astrology. You know what? We'll slide I think right he in. was a Libra. I think he was a Libra. Oh, Libras are liars and trifling people, babe. <laughs> <laughs> are you a Libra? No, I'm a cancer. Oh, Janae. Oh, dear. I'm like, oh, Janae. <laughs> What's up with cancers? I hate cancers. I mean, what? but not like I really like you though. Like as a person, I don't I don't find anything wrong with you. But like I had a cancer ex best friend and she was just a terrible person. You see, okay, don't listen to the pattern of best friend. Mm. I obviously need to stop calling people my best friend. I was say. But I had those those were like my younger, like high school best friends. The mm-hmm. boy we have been best friends since I was like in middle school. Okay. Now, my best friend, her name's Jade. She's cool. We fuck with each other from a distance most of the time, but we get what's together when we need to. She's a Gemini. I love Geminis. And what's your sign? Aquarius. Oh, my mom's an Aquarius. My best friend is an Aquarius. Exactly. You see great people. And I've known my best friend since we were babies, since we were six. Yeah, but you seem like a good cancer. Like, some people are literally cancerous. Oh. oh. I don't know any bad cancers. Like, stage four. Uh, oh. <laughs> don't do us like that. I mean, not you. I don't know any bad cancers to be honest. Like, I, and I know I don't know a whole lot of cancers. Mm-hmm. I know a few, um, and the ones that I do know, they're very sweet people. They are very. This is what I what I learned about myself and what I've categorized mm-hmm. cancers as. People love to say, "Oh, you're sensitive." And passionate you're is the like, kind of the word. That is the word that I use. It's mm-hmm. passionate because for me, everything is times ten. So if I'm happy, I'm happy times 10. Mm -hmm. If I'm angry, I'm angry times 10. If I'm sad, I'm sad times 10. But baby, everything is times 10. You're not going to get, I'm an all or nothing person. I tell people this all the time and it's really hard for me. Girl, I was in therapy and my therapist was like, we have to find a balance. Bitch, I don't have none. It doesn't exist in my world. I'm telling you what I am. That's it. You either here or you not. If you're not going, this is your job. Can you do your job or you cannot? If you cannot do your job, you got to go. That's that's the type of person I am. I'm like, "Mm." I haven't answered the phone for my therapist in like two weeks. <gasps> Answer the phone. No, but I'm why? Not, I'm not in the fucking mood. Because you don't want to cry? Yeah, I'm not in the mood. Sometimes you need to cry. I've cried a lot this week. That's okay. You need a you need the real cry, the good cry. You've been crying a lot because you've been trinkling, you've been sprinkling Amy knows cries. my heart. And when I'm ready to talk <laughs> to Amy, 
she'll be prepared to answer. She always says, she leaves me a little text, okay, if you aren't in the mood to talk right now, call me when you are. And I will, girl, no problem. But right now, no. I get it. But don't run away from it too long. I've been doing this thing, which I feel like is good for me. I do video diaries. Mm -hmm. So I record myself talking about my feelings, how I feel at that moment. Like, if I feel provoked to speak about how I feel, I'll do that. And I just was watching them yesterday, and I was like, wow, you're so mature, girl. That's good. Like, you are, your brain, it's evolving. No, that's what's up. (laughs) Honestly, that sounds fucking phenomenal. Because realistically, I mean, who would think? I didn't think of no shit like that. Everybody was be like, journal, journal, journal. But everybody isn't writers. Like, everybody don't want to. My hand be hurting. <laughs> Get out of here. That's why this uh, this man being in jail is insane. Because I, I don't give a fuck. This is my show. I feel you. <laughs> but feel you. him being in jail is insane because I cannot write letters. What? You, I you, tried. I did try. We'll type up a letter. Oh, oh, could they accept typing? You have, they do. <laughs> you just, you Shut got, up, you got to print it out though. I know. Okay. I got a printer. Okay. I got printers. Yeah. Is that, you got an office. You could type it up. Maybe I'll send it. I don't know. I have nothing nice to say. I know. That's because you, you frustrated right now. You in your space. But that's all right. You'll get to a point where it's like, but I miss you. What you name? Who do you miss? Fuck my fuck my love life. <laughs> <laughs> my love life is in shambles. So let's talk about Janae's. What's your type? Do Ooh. you have a type? I like physically. Yeah. I don't really have a type, but I think um, mostly I I I I'm attracted to men that are bigger than me. Mm-hmm. Um, but that doesn't mean that I wouldn't date anybody that's not bigger. Mm-hmm. So honestly, I don't have a type. I don't feel like any anybody that I deal with like none of them look alike. Okay. Like I, I, some of them funny looking, some of them fine as hell, some of them fat, some of them skinny, some of them muscular. I'm all, I'm, I'm, I'm a spectrum type of girl. I'm more of a energy person. Like mm-hmm. I really be like, when I fuck with your energy, I'll be like, ooh, I just want to be around you. Like okay. I don't even care about what you look like. I just want to touch you. I want to feel you. Janae's a lover girl. Please. I am a lover girl, but nobody loves me. Why do you feel that way? I be looking at your <laughs> tweets sometimes like, Janae, please. <laughs> because, honestly, I don't know if, like, I, I wouldn't say that, like, I'm hard to love. But I feel like I have requirements. Okay. And I'm not bending on them. Well, that's good. But I think with that, it eliminates a lot of people. And, uh, you know... How many requirements are there? They're not a lot of requirements. They're just tough requirements. Okay, give me one. Give me two. <laughs> um. Well, I think the the a main requirement that eliminates a lot of people is just good hygiene. Um. And I'm gonna say this because y'all stink. I don't mean <laughs> not y'all stink. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean like regular hygiene. I I am I I I like phenomenal hygiene Mm -hmm. because the thing about it is i don't smoke most people these days smoke Mm -hmm. so when it comes to that i smell it all the time Mm -hmm. so it doesn't matter what you do i'm gonna smell it on you i'm gonna smell it in your mouth if you kiss me i'm gonna smell it coming out of your nostrils Mm. so i can smell it so for me your hygiene has to be immaculate because you got to get that smell up out of here or just no smokers yeah but who the fuck don't smoke these days other than me I don't a lot know, of people, Janae. Girl, I ain't found nobody. I mean, more women than men, but I feel like there's men that don't smoke at all. I found most of the men that don't smoke are athletes, and the ones who are athletes that, you know, if they don't smoke, they're not successful athletes, and so. Oh. There's no shade. <laughs> there's no shade. I'm just saying, like, they're not they're not well off. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like, they're not financially in a space. Oh, they where, D-League. Oh, is that a thing? It, it, G League is now what it's called. Oh. Um, but even with that, like, they have, like, steady income or sustainable mm-hmm. income, depending on, you know, their situation. But um, it just looks differently. Like, I know somebody, like, don't, like I, I met a guy who doesn't smoke and he plays football. But you don't play football for, like, the NFL. You play football for, like, I don't know what type of league it is. I don't even know if the league pays, but. AAU? <laughs> what? <laughs> Might as well be. I mean, oh my god, I don't know, but yeah, it's yeah. The only ones that don't smoke are athletes. Okay, and successful athletes are not faithful. 
Um, they don't necessarily want a relationship mm-hmm. for real. Um, they'll play thank you to death. You know, like I've you know been in spaces I've dealt with, and they don't want no serious shit. They just be having fun. Okay. And you, you like at this age, you would like something more serious for sure. Um, I'm okay with. I'm an honest person, so like mm-hmm. I said, I'm straightforward. I'm upfront. So if a nigga can keep it a hundred with me and say like, "This what I need. This what I want right now in the situation," mm-hmm. it may turn to this. It may not. Give me the opportunity to actually decide what the fuck it is. Like if I'm really signing up for this shit, this sneaky shit, one way shit. I ain't with that. I don't like that. Like okay. just keep. Because honestly, at the end of the day, if I ain't got no nigga, you could be the nigga until I get a nigga. Right. But you got to keep it 100, though. And that's another thing. Niggas not honest. Yeah, but I don't think that men believe that they can have their way and be honest. That's because they ain't never tried it. Because you're taking advice from other men who are telling you how to be sneaky and conniving. Who did that? <laughs> <laughs> These old niggas. That's all they did. Old niggas are just sneaky and conniving. And so they teach young niggas to be sneaky and conniving. And so oh my God. young niggas be running game, but honestly, you don't have to run game. Like there are people out here who will deal with you in, in whatever capacity. Mm-hmm. Like realistically, I'm about to say, I even for me, like I'm not like anti poly. Like I'm not anti anything at this point. Mm. I am I'm very understanding of people and how people operate. I just need honesty. If you can be honest with me, I'm not. we can we can go into we can grow into different spaces like because for me, you if, ain't as strict as you say. I mean, but you say that honesty is the best policy. So. No, 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 I am strict because each. This is the thing. I'm strict in regards of like each situation is gonna have different stipulations. Mm-hmm. Like if you don't want kids, the dating requirement is gonna be different than if you want kids. If you want kids, you need to be able to pay all these motherfucking bills your goddamn self because mm-hmm. I'm not gonna go to work when I'm having your babies. Yeah. It's not happening. It'll be optional, you know. But I'm, but yeah. So if you don't want kids, that look different though, because you don't want kids. I have a kid. I have to take care of my kid. You don't want kids. We just, you know, taking it light, whatever the case may be. That looks different. Those requirements are going to be different than a man who's saying, "I want to have children with you." Well, you need to be prepared to take care of children and me. Yeah. So what I mean, she said. <laughs> even and that's why I say even with Polly, like there are other restrictions. It's like. Man, having people to yourself ain't always. It's it that shit don't be working out. The fuck you be sharing anyway. My I just need honesty. I need to know what the fuck going on. I need to know how to protect myself. I know how to be prepared. That's my thing. If I'm if I'm in a space where I'm, I know everything. I can be prepared. I can handle whatever. Cool. Let me do that. I know what the fuck going on. I know what I'm getting myself into. It's that sneaky shit. For me, cheating ain't even when you fuck another bitch. Cheating to me is you cheating me out of the fucking decision or the choice to decide that this works for me. Mm-hmm. Because I could have said, yeah, that works. But you ain't even give me the option. Or I could have said that don't work for me. I'm out. But go ahead, fuck that bitch, because I'm out. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? But I just, I love honesty. That is a big thing for me. Like, honesty and accountability. If you can own your shit and you can keep it 100 with me, I might bite you. Who's trying to get bit by Janae? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You <laughs> act like these are such bad things, but they're like not, they're, they're, no, they're like, not. They're good things, but it's just this area. You think it's the area? I've definitely yeah. dated outside of the area. I don't even. Oh, you say you? It's the world. Yeah, I was say I don't even really fuck with nobody here. To be honest, I don't. It's just like dog eat dog here. in this area because it's only a few. <sighs> A few niggas with pockets, and all yeah. the bitches want a nigga with pockets. That's true. This is the thing. I'm not even worried about a nigga with pockets. The main thing, like I said, is if you want to have kids, you need to be able to pay that shit. That, that, that's important to me. Mm-hmm. But, you know, in terms of, like, just, I'm not a materialistic girl. Mm-hmm. So I'm not really into, like, the name brand stuff. Do I think some of it is nice and some of it is cute? Sure. But honestly, I'm not a fashion girl. So when it comes to, like, that name brand shit, like, I don't know how the fuck y'all be throwing shit together. I'll be like, oh, okay. Fire. I wouldn't even know unless you told me like this is this brand. Mm-hmm. I don't give a shit about none of that. Like I need my motherfucking bills paid. You ain't gotta buy me a bag. <laughs> I need to be able to come home and feel safe and secure. Like I ain't got to move next month. I've been evicted as a kid. I've been through some oh, shit. Okay. I don't want to experience that shit no more. I need to make sure that I have a stable home. Okay. So those things matter to me. That's so adulty. Period. You know, I'm grown as hell. Look at the curves. <laughs> I try. As hell. You know? Mature. I love, I love that. Thanks, girl. I, I think I'm mature. I don't really, I 
don't know. I think everything's a joke. <laughs> I'm not mad. At least you get to laugh through life. This is the thing, man. Because life is hard. Shit. If you can laugh. Yeah, my sense of humor is very dark. It's dark. Morbid. Yes, literally. I be t- People be like, why are you laughing about that? I, I want to like, know. Oh, so, you I want to know morbid funny. thing you laugh about. <laughs> 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 Tell me. First of all, I laugh about like abortions and shit like that all the time. Okay. Like, <laughs> fetus deletus. Ah! Um, <laughs> Hey, I seen this post. It had like a, a balloon and it was like, it's a boy. And somebody crossed out boy and put board it. And I was like, oh shit. <laughs> oh my God. When you find that meme, send it to me. I got you. Because I, I got use for it. I <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick. I cannot with you. <laughs> she said, I got news for it. But they be like, just get on birth control. Look. And then I go Google one of them articles where they be like, birth control is bad for you. No, for real. Listen, somebody asked me that too. They said, you want to get on birth control? No, I don't. Yeah, so I was in reference like in, in like right after high school and it just wasn't my periods were weird. It was just a whole bunch of shit. My moods were terrible. Mm-hmm. Babe, it's okay. Just give yeah. it to me raw and uncut every month. <laughs> we're just hoping we're coming on our cycle. <laughs> I'm dead. You just gotta pay attention to the app and figure out your ovulation days and be See? like, no sex. Mm. See, you gotta pay attention. So this I'll be thing. seeing the ovulation day and I'll be like, whoa, let's go ahead. I'm dead. No, look, I had my so I you know, I had my son young. So then after I had my son, I got I started with the depot mm-hmm. shot. Didn't like it. Got it, the shit made me nauseous, made me hungry all the time. I was like, Yeah, no, I'm not eating, I'm not doing that shit. So then I got an IUD mm-hmm. and I got the 10 year one. So baby, I was good. For 10 you, years. For 10 years. I was good. And also, I'm a relationship girl. I was a relationship girl. Okay. So I was in like long term relationships. So it was when's like, the last time you were in a relationship? Oh, girl, it's been a long time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a minute. Um, this is the thing. Even after my relationship ended, though, I did date somebody like a consistent somebody for a, a long time. We just mm-hmm. never got into a relationship because I'm very strict on. Again, my strictness comes in like. Everything that I, I, my father used to teach me. I used to play basketball. He used to say, every little thing you do sets up every little thing you do. And so that's the gym I carry with me no matter what the fuck going on. Mm-hmm. So when I'm dating, if I feel like if we don't have a if we don't have a plan or we don't have, you know, I an idea of what our future looks like or what this is like moving forward, we're not moving forward. Mm-hmm. Like you're not gonna tell me, okay, I wanna be in a relationship with you, I want you to be my girlfriend for what? Because then what happens? What are mm-hmm. you gonna do different than what, what we're, we're doing, doing today. Now. Like we live, I live here, you live there. Mm-hmm. We go on dates, cool. Are you you really just want to stop me from talking to other niggas? That's all that is. Well, who said that'll stop you? <laughs> <laughs> and that's the main thing. That's why I'm like, it's no point of us getting into a relationship because what's the benefit? What's the point? Because are you are you then going to become a part of my world? Are you then going to add value here? Like, what does that look like? You don't want to add value for real, for real. You just want to claim me. No. Wow. Yeah. You know what that just gave me? We all be like, you got to, uh uh-uh! <laughs> <laughs> We all be like, you gotta ask me to be your girlfriend. But then, like, what they asking for? Janae really just gave you bitches parameters, and I hope that y'all use them. (laughs) Me, I just require to be asked. What are are we doing different? Nothing. I nope. What am I doing different? They asked, and I was like, for what? And then after we ended up having a conversation, after that, it was like we like we was like playing arcade games. And he was like, um, he was like, all right, well, let's play. He was, I was like, well, what's, what? he was like, let's bet. No, we bet. And he was like, if I win, you be my girlfriend. No, that's not the Ooh, bet. Oh, he gave real love in basketball. Let me play you for your heart. No, he, he broke wasn't even that bitch's ankles. Ah, first of all, that's one of my favorite movies. Are you well, sure? Yes, because when I was a kid, I thought that I was like, this is going to be me. When you watch that movie as an adult, <laughs> the emotional Listen, trauma I know that involved. Word for word, I'm cool. Only because it's not my life. I thought Quincy it was, was, he was fine. He was. He was fine. He was fine. He was fine. But not, fi- not that fine. Yeah, not fine enough to be playing, but he was also an NBA player. And you, oh, and you we just talked about athletes. Uh-huh. So NBA players be, yeah. If you've been watching lately, you know we've been keeping it juicy in the stew with the Keep It Player cards. Y'all, I haven't even bust open my girl's night one. I'm going to have my friends on here and do that. But... 
please get this card game, y'all. I know we want a Carisha pleases and stuff like that, but this is a great drinking game. So many diverse questions and so much fucking fun. Like, I wouldn't even lie to you. So if you want to get Keep It Player, go to their website. My affiliate link is in my bio on both pages, Dare the Doll and Henny T with Dare. Don't play with it. And also, I have a code, Dare25. So if you want to get you some Keep It Player cards, make sure you use my code or use my affiliate link and get you a little discount. Okay, period. Keep it playing. They be calling in like, dear, you're not keeping it pee. Well, can I keep it pee at all times? Fuck. Shit. <laughs> so what do you think about other artists? I'm going to spin this around to oh the, the new Diddy and Carisha thing that just came out. Mm. Of course, Carisha's a rapper. Diddy is rap producer, dance mogul in your videos. Music mogul. Everything. Yes. Okay. Yes, he's a okay, music, music mogul. mogul. Um... So what do you think about the news of that? Which I just part? Know There's the so news. much about it. Not okay. It goes crazy because it goes from like Cassie during her lawsuit taking her money, but knowing that it was going to open up a can of worms. Yeah. People are like, why did she take just take the money? Because all she wanted was y'all to hear it once and this and feel the need to tell mm -hmm. your story. Yeah. So the new one was with Carisha cousin in it. It was from like a. Uh, like oh see I didn't know Carisha was involved in this one. Oh okay so I the, it said it said male employee. Okay, Carisha's cousins appar apparently the like, male employee. No, she was a girl. Oh okay. Apparently she like forced sex on this man. I believe his name is Lil Rod. Redacted if I'm not right. Um, <laughs> Lil Rod and he supposedly helped with that new album that Diddy came out with the okay. Love album I with all the, the different album. artists. Really good. Diddy did a good job with that one. I only heard the song with Tiana Taylor because I'm a huge Tiana Taylor fan. <laughs> Tiana, if you ever come across me, babe, I'd like you to sit on this couch. Anyway. Listen, and can I sit with you? Look. God. She's so fine, child. She is so fine. Yes. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Ugh. You know, you like girls? I don't like girls, but <laughs> there are certain women that I'll be like, <laughs> maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Have you ever been with a girl? I haven't. Oh my god! I know, but I do. I I admire. I will literally be like, just huh. so gorgeous. I'm like yes. that as well. Yeah, but like I I don't know. I've been with like, them though. You have? Okay. I've been. I will like go to the strip club and be like biting butts and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. You know, first butt I bit was um at Stadium Caliente. Oh, I love Kylie. Me too. She's Gorgeous. so, oh my God. At the time, so she had faux locks in her hair and I had my locks. So I thought they was real locks. I was like, you got locks too. Oh my God, bitch. And I was like, can I bite your butt? And she didn't me bite her butt and I was just all up in it. And I was like, I love her. And then I came back like two weeks later and she didn't have her locks no more. And I was like, where are your locks? <laughs> she was like, they made me take them out. They probably was getting stuck on her heels and shit, girl. You know them fro locks be long. I was so sad because she looks so good with them. But she I'm still look good. I'm crying at... <laughs> no, but this is good because you know this is just natural, natural um, conversation because we took a hard left from Diddy we and did. went straight into how like did. LGBTQ <laughs> business. <laughs> and what I was trying to like... Okay, well, you didn't see that part. But okay, so what about the Meek Mill part? You saw the Meek Mill part where they was like... A basically... Rapper. They said a rapper from Philly that dated Nicki Minaj. Babe. Did they really say all that's of that? That's exactly, exactly what it said. That is not what the fucking court documents say. Stop fucking no, playing. No, literally. That is not what they say. But somebody told me, like, the court documents wouldn't be, like, they wouldn't have all admissible the, yeah. or whatever because they had Supreme Court on the top, but it's district court. I don't know. Some man on Twitter was really cussing me out about that. Then this lady came over here and was like, niggas don't know. And on Twitter, I'm completely reckless. If you come in my mentions with anything on Twitter, I might just start talking about your dead father in no, your for real, bio. Why like, are you I don't. so hard? Because people be so fucking up in arms. Like, bro, it's just an opinion. Like, come And I've been telling people Meek Mill was gay. So honestly. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys were really heartbroken about that. Really? I mean, I'm not I, I mean, shocked. I'm not heartbroken. At the end of the day, these are not my niggas. I know, but like shocked. I don't this is the thing. I'm I'm one of the people that don't really give a fuck about people's business, mm -hmm. honestly. Like I really don't be knowing nobody's nothing. That's good. So when shit happened, I'd be like, huh? I'll be talking about people bad. That really happened? And then I forget two days later. Mm -hmm. Because I really don't give a fuck about what you got going on. I got so much shit going on over here, I don't give a shit. It, I'm one of them people that, like, you can tell me anything. And you be like, don't tell nobody. Bitch, I'm not, because I'm not going to remember. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not going to remember. My memory is horrible. But shocked, I guess I would say, didn't see that coming. 
I know, but also I know that ever since then, people have been like, you know, posting like videos where they like showing little gayness and stuff like that. And then like him going to his rant, I seen the rant and I'm like, what is that? Why are you spiraling the rant, right now? The rant gave I'm gay and I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what nobody says, but I only say that simply because you only have to type one sentence and then you're showing that you're dyslexic or something. You can't even fucking spell. <laughs> you can't even put out a full sentence and a full idea. That only takes, I am not gay. Yeah. It wasn't me. So shut the fuck up. And yeah, but me. all this, I fuck bitches on their period. Da, 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 you're trying too hard. Gay Ooh, as fuck. that's what he said? Yes. Oh, I wasn't paying that close attention. God damn me. He was going on a full-blown rant. Then called the, po the governor or something on DJ Academics. Mind you, I be wishing that academics will argue with men and not going to lie. The woman be eating academics up, but academics ate Meek up. Ate him for dinner. Ate him alive. I've like fuck Meek Mill for putting me on DJ Academics side. Uh. <laughs> because I hate DJ Academics, but Damn. he was eating him up. Mm, I feel like everybody hate academics. Because who is he? I don't know. Again, I don't. I don't be in nobody business. I don't know who nobody is. What shock does he say? I know every, every DJ, DJ but this pussy academics. Uh, uh. Did you go to that Shaq Lizzie show? That was no, the other week. Me I either. Didn't. I didn't know about I it. I bothered Marcus about it and didn't even want to go. Shh, bother me next time. Because I honestly, I didn't know about it. And I didn't see the post until the day after. And I'm like, what the fuck? Talking about, oh, there's a show. And I was like, when is, I was about to say, when is the show? And then I seen the date and I'm like, oh, that was yesterday. Yeah. But that's because the fucking algorithm is trash. No, the algorithm is trash. But you know, it's who you look at most of the time. Like this, I had told this girl on Twitter, she was like, um, should I be bothered if my man's explore page is all like women with BBLs and like, you know, people showing their ass. And I said, well, it shows what you look at most. Mm. And then she replied to me and was like, well, I don't think that's true because mine don't um, show what I look at most. It'd be random stuff. If that's what you're telling yourself. Girl, Babe, you look you at click, random stuff. You, <laughs> click, you look at random stuff or you would constantly just scroll into reels or something like that. Babe, all my explore page, yeah. nails, hair, things I'm interested in. Girl, that's so funny. My explore page is literally, it's kind of the same, but that's because I like watching the videos. Mm -hmm. I'm never going to do that shit. So, like, I'll, I'll watch makeup videos like, hmm, I'll never do that. That's so nice. And I watch nail videos like, hmm, those are so cute. I'll never wear those, but nice. So yeah. Your nails are done. They are done, but they're simple. They're always going to be something simple. You see how you got Stuff? She said you got shit on there. You got stuff on your nails. <laughs> I ain't gonna never have no stuff. Unless it's my birthday or like, you know, mm -hmm. a super special occasion. They gonna be very simple. I'm a French tip girl. I'm a nude girl. I'm a keep it calm and simple girl. Everything got to go with everything. Yeah, so. But that's on my Explore page because I just like watching shit. Like, I, be, I like watching stuff I can't do. Okay. I don't know what that's about. Also, I think it's more of like the tomboy in me that's really trying to be more feminine. So it's mm -hmm. like... Oh, we got to watch girly stuff to figure out how to be a girl. Janae, you do not. I just feel like... I think that you get caught up in the pretty. Yeah. And so you think that it's... But honestly, I'm a nigga. I want to fight all the time. I want to... Uh, I don't know. Like, I'm rough. Why do you be wanting to fight? Girl, because I'm an angry person. But I think that's also why I'm, like, super kind. I care about people a lot. And I think because I care about okay. the world, I'm more angry. What they say? To, what they, to be woke is to be angry. Something like that. Yeah. Oh. Mm hmm I be sleep. Because <laughs> I'm at peace, bitch. <laughs> no, but like, um, I just have gotten to a point where I can't let things affect me that much because me, I show stress. Like, mm. I'll break out in hives or like, I just, I can't care about shit that much. I really got to let Not it me, fly. Baby. I'm going to go to sleep. You bought, yesterday I felt stressed. Knocked out. Do you take <laughs> melatonin? No. I don't need to go to sleep. I don't take nothing. Okay. I'm asleep. I've been taking Ashwanda gumbies. <laughs> How has that been? I thought that, that guy. I think that that shit is illegal. The type of calm that that puts you under is insane. I was at Throw Social Friday, right? Oh my God, y'all. Endless people, endless people, endless people. And you know, Throw Social sidewalk, they got that opening right there, but like their sidewalk is like this skinny. Mm -hmm. So. You know, I'm standing there. I'm like, I'm talking to the people in front of me. The people in front of me like, yeah, we got a table. Y'all can come in with our table. Meanwhile, I'm really DMing Troy on uh, Instagram. Like, come get me, mm -hmm. babe, now. Yeah. I cannot. <laughs> um, but, like, 
I had took those gummies, and like while everybody else was kirking out, they said it's it's at capacity. We not getting in there. Da, da, da. And I'm just sitting on the side, like waiting on Troy. Like, mm. First like, of all, they like y'all need to go because they're not letting nobody else in. Me, me to the person. I'm gonna get in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, it got to the point where I was like, it's me and my god sister to Troy. But I had like three other friends with me, right? Oh, but you them, was bitch, to get the whole them game bitches game. <laughs> is listening to people over there. So Troy grabbed me and I left them. Well, I was gonna say that. Yeah, I was like, let me know when y'all get up here, cause I'm not going back down. And if I, I if we using either. my name, babe, I better get where we going. Yeah, nah, it was you, fun though. That it was. I was gonna say, um, I wanted, fun. I thought about going, but it's baby, just hot as shit in there. I don't think they have any like type of. No shade. <laughs> no ventilation. No ventilation. Damn. I'm a I honestly I I I went to uh what did I go? I went to a birthday party that night. So I didn't make it. By the time I was like, I'm tired, I'm gonna lay down. But what was your experience the time you did go? Because you've been there and pulled on stage, period. Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> honestly, I've been a couple times. I went when Backyard was there and that was lit. Um mm-hmm. I went when CCB was there and that was lit. I'm not gonna hold you. I know everybody got like random bands that they really fuck with, but I fuck with ccb like i, I love, love ccb too Real i cool. love ccb like they i feel like they got the hits and i was just having this conversation they crank. right i'm like why the fuck nobody is putting ccb on the top like get the fuck out of here ccb is like that and but they I had like, like national years, hits ccb wasn't performing at all that like might have okay. broke up or something that might have been it i mean yeah they got new members and so that might that might be the reason why they probably had to restructure it they probably because sure. you know Go go start. I want to say go go start coming back, being popular. I used to stay at Club One in Virginia. Okay, like literally a real ghetto girl. <laughs> I have never been to the CFE. <laughs> really? Okay, maybe not a real ghetto girl. Did you go I to the went tie? to. No, I went to Bougie Go Go's, babe. I went to the Icon. Oh, excuse me. You ain't go to the Black Hole. No, I think I was too young for that then, Janae. Okay, got like it. my first go go, I was a freshman in high school. Mm. I'm gonna say what they got. They had old age go go's. Baby, my you, you ain't met oh, Nicole. Mother, she was like, absolutely not, not she, this baby. I can't say it. off and she and she was thinking St. Charles County. <laughs> okay, you can go. Ah. I also <laughs> used to go to VFW and District Heights. Okay, smaller go go's. I've never been there. I've never smaller go go's, babe. Mm. But go go's have been. I'm not even gonna hold you. I had some some. Horrible experiences in the go-go's. I've had some great experiences. Yeah, I used to... So, I used to be friends with... Um, well, no, I'm still friends. We still friends. I love her to death. We went. We was in elementary school together. Oh. And so, by the time we got, like, to middle school, her she had an older sister. And they had, like, an older god sister who was in, like, Most Wanted. Okay. And then she, they was, like, in MEH. Because, you know, MEH was, like, Most Wanted, like, smaller. Mm-hmm. Girl, I don't know. Either way, you know, used to go to the go-go's with them and be in fights. I don't even know what the fuck we fighting for, but because I'm with y'all, I'm not even in the game. I'm not even from where y'all from. Y'all niggas is from Northwest. I'm from oh. Southeast. I don't even know how this we even works. We love Southeast, mommy. Period. Mm, South side to like die. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, people your, be trying to make fun I of I love your sexy voice. Uh. My mom be trying to tell people I'm from Southeast all the time. Why and I she be, say that? Where you from? What part? I'm not from D.C. I'm a Meezy. <laughs> I'm amazing. What part you from? None of your business. I'm ah! just kidding. <laughs> no, but um, my mom is Southeast. So Period. she died. So. Ah, I love it. This is the thing, though. I'm not even going to hold you. I have this conversation all the time. My sister be like, are you not going to include other things? And I tell people all the time, like, I wrapped the whole DMV. Because honestly, at some point in my life, I lived in every part of the DMV. Mm-hmm. So I lived, when I was li- like when I was born, I was born in Alexandria. Okay. Long story, but I was born in Alexandria Hospital. But at the time, my parents lived on C Street in Southeast. Mm-hmm. So came home to C Street. Um, but I had a, at that time, my family were, my parents have been through a lot. Let's just okay. say that. I'll, I'll be trying to like not put their business out there, but it's my business. Bitch, you brought me in the world fucked up. Um, so. <laughs> um, my mother does the same. She don't want none of my none of her business on my progress. Go ahead. I get it. But, but at the same time, they'd be like, I'm proud. Because like, look at you now. Look at mm-hmm. you today. Like, you're amazing. Like, these are the things that shape me. Yeah. I got a couple of years. This, I don't know when my girl going to be ready for me to talk about her. But Listen, my mother already be like, and then you. I'm like, all right, girl. I'm not even going to tell you a story. My father, he don't give a shit. Because mm-hmm. my father, like, I'm a nigga. It is what it is. My mother be like, <laughs> no. I'm like, okay, that's that bougie shit. That's that feminist shit that I don't like. Oh. I don't like that. It's a lot of girly things that I just be like. 
Yeah. But anyway, um, so yeah, born in Virginia, lived in Southeast. Uh, my grandmother lived in Brentwood, right there off of Rhode Island Avenue. Um, so like when my parents was like, you know, we bounced back and forth between Southeast and Brentwood a lot mm-hmm. because situational. Um, and then when he got this shit together, we were still in Southeast. And then finally they got this shit together. My father was working. He was making six figures, six figure nigga back in the day. Period. And we went to private school in Southeast still though, cause. Southside till I die. Uh, <laughs> and then, uh, but we moved to Fort Washington. Okay. And then we were still going to school in Southeast, though. And then um, my parents split, and we went from Fort Washington back to Southeast. And then I'm going to say when I got older, my father moved to Bowie. So like I said, I've lived in all the areas, I feel like. Mm-hmm. So I'd be like, I rep the whole DMV. It is what it is. I don't really give a fuck, but... I know I, I Southeast is where most of my memories are. I remember every address that I've had, and the oh, okay. majority of them are like Southeast. Damn. I couldn't tell you where I lived in high school. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So this is the time, you guys, where I make Janae a poll, as if why would I ask her that? Oh, my God. Okay, so we still rolling with Keep It Player here on Doll Talk. We've transferred from Henny T with Dara to Doll Talk, but we still rolling with Keep It Player, you guys, because this is like... Black on car game. I love it. My guys don't play. Period. So make sure that you guys are using my link and my code is Dara10. Um, so I can keep making money. Period. Run it up, <laughs> run it up, run it up, run it up. I'm okay. going to go cop me a keep it player with the code. Yes. Please. please. Send me the link. They have, I will. They have a girl talk version. And this is my first time ever using the girl talk version. Here with my Ooh, girl, Janae. See, it's Special lady, that's what you say. Yes, you are special to me. <laughs> Thank you, you're special to me too. I think when I when we first finally talked, I told you I don't like many people, yeah. but I like you. You're nice. Thank you. Yes, and you didn't even know I was a cancer, even though you hate cancers. <sighs> <laughs> it's not make, about I'm that. I'm gonna make you love us again. Bring you girl, to the if I tell you what that bitch did, you'd be like, damn. Oh my god, she's out of cancer. Online. Yes. Online. Yeah. <laughs> Lord, what you done did? Why you put a bad name out for us? I'm crying. Okay, so keep it playing card one. Tell a story about a time you were dick fished. <laughs> <laughs> she about to say, what the fuck is that? No, I thought about it. Dick fish, I'm going to assume, I, I, I know what it is, but when you say that, are you saying like a nigga sent a picture and then it really wasn't that size or because that ain't never happened to me. Okay, but sometimes you just feel like it's some size because they have, like, okay. big dick energy or something. All right, I, I give you that. Okay, so I dated – I well, it's not really dating. I, whatever. Started talking to this nigga. Fine. Big nigga. I like big niggas. I like niggas that's bigger than me, and he big. Way bigger than me. I was like, ooh. Okay. Yes. Big chocolate man. Um, He do security. And – he was perfect. I'm not even gonna lie to you. This nigga was taking me on dates. He was very communicative. He was very present. And I'm like, what the fuck wrong with you? What's wrong with you? And so then we was talking about just, you know, life and what was going on. And he was basically like, um, we was talking about what was going on in life, whatever. And he basically was just like, yeah, uh, he kind of was like, you can move into my house, whatever. He like, I got a two bedroom. You know, your son can have his own room. Just really, he was. Just putting it on. Mind you, we only been talking for like two weeks. He was really putting it That's all out love there. love bombing. Girl, it was. But so then I'm like, nah, something wrong. Like, what's wrong with you? So we get to kiss and I do this thing. And I, I advise every woman to do it. When y'all get kissy and touchy-feely and he start feeling on you, feel on him too. Get in them drawers. Feel what it feel like. If it don't grow in your hand... That's basically what it was. Like, I felt it. it he was hard and he was just so excited. But it was little. It was literally my hand. Mm. And so he was just. It's always niggas that you really like, though, bro, I feel like. And he was so great. And then it was like, so once it was the rap, like once I felt it, I was like, okay. So then I'm like, I got to go. And like, he was just like, oh, I was so excited. I'm like, I can tell. I'm like, but I got to go. And after that, I was just like, yeah, I don't want to do this no more. <laughs> and I do that without, I do that with any nigga that I get to. We not having sex if it's not you. You got to be a certain that's size just a to waste. ride this ride. And that's just that on that. So I always kiss, get down in them drawers, fill it. Jerk it a little bit, make sure it get hard so you can feel the actual size. Because, yeah, nah, I don't play that shit. So I've never had anybody, I've never had a shrimp dick. I've never. Oh! 
Oh. Well, because I'm going to feel and make Janae's sure. Janae's a lucky, lucky lady. Girl, no, I am a, this, this, I'm calculated. Me trying yeah. to, this is why you prepare and you manage things in your life so that you don't have them experiences. At least, because the thing is, I'm not saying I've never had bad dick. Mm-hmm. But I've never had shrimp dick. Well, <laughs> I've, I, I've, I've had both. <laughs> uh, I hate to share. No share. But, but no, like I've literally had both. Like I've had a nigga literally had sex with me, but like hide his dick. Like, but like if it's not coming past your hand, then I already know. Like brother, man, like <laughs> just move your fucking hand because it's actually in the way of the penetration. <laughs> no, he was um, hiding that thing for dear life, and now he has a child, so it works. Whoa. Mm. I'd be looking at her like, well, how did you? <laughs> How'd you manage that? She said, pussy tight like a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that from? I have no fucking idea. It just came to my what? head. I heard it somewhere, but it's a song or something. Mm. Okay. This is another one. If your significant other cheated, who would you call to get your lick back? <laughs> that is a good one. You mean like a nigga that I've already been with? Uh huh. I can't tell y'all who I would call. <laughs> Tyrone. Hey, I don't, honestly, I'm mm, I'm mm-hmm. not a lick back type of bitch. My lick back look different than getting this. Okay, what's your lick back, girl? My lick back it's is just leaving the situation. No, because I'm petty. Okay. My look back is you gonna suffer how I suffer in some way, shape, or form. I don't know what it look like. It look. It, I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna hit you with hurt. Like take all his left shoes. <laughs> it might look like something like that. I'm not gonna hold you. One time when me and my ex broke up, we lived together, and you know Cardi came out with that album, and that I went through your phone last night. Joint came out, and I posted on my Instagram singing that song. And I was like in his closet with all his shoes off. You know, she said, uh, I might just cut off the tongues out your speaker. I mean, out your sneakers. That nigga pulled up literally an hour later. He already knew. Don't play with me. You was in there trying to cut the tongue. I wasn't in there trying to, but in my mind, I was like, I might. I might. That nigga pulled up an hour later and was like, I just came to get my shoes. <laughs> you smart. That was a good idea because you wasn't going to have none. Me, I just be doing shit. I just be doing I don't, I don't, I'm not really a like fuck up your, I have a lot of nice things. Mm. And I feel like I always have nicer things than the men I date. Yeah, so, so it's like, don't get me back. Never mind. No, I'm not, not going to fuck with your shit. I'm not going to fuck with your car. I'm not going to fuck with your livelihood. I'm just going to fuck with other niggas. And that's fine because I'm me and the other niggas always better. I respect that. I don't know. I don't really fuck with other niggas because I don't fuck with. I don't barely fuck with the nigga I'm fucking with. You know what I mean? But in terms of like, I just for me it's like my get back is always gonna be something that like you need. Like, yeah, you needed that to survive, and now now you you've taken a step back in life. Janae's so put together, y'all. Cause like, <laughs> who does a calculated get back? Yes, let me just put you a step back. Yeah, because and, I'm a thinker. I be I overthink sometimes. So it's like I'm always prepared. It don't matter what the fuck. I'm prepared for you to cheat, nigga. So don't cheat because I I'm a doer. I'm I'm prepared, baby. I'm a doer too. That's why I'm prepared. So that way I ain't gotta I don't gotta create the plan. The plan is already in motion. So when you do my <laughs> my do, <laughs> I'ma outdo what you do. You can't outdo the doer. What they say? You can't outshake the shaker, baby. <laughs> Mark is going to say, all right, it's time to wrap it up. So sorry. Whatever. Okay, so I feel like we had a great show. I feel I like they too. learned a lot about you. When does your next song come out? The end of this month? Is that yep. like, do you, on the last day the of the month? The very last day of the month. So this one just dropped February 29th. Because, um, you know, leap year and shit. Mm-hmm. Um, and this one will be, the next one will be March 31st. So, yeah. New okay. Song, new music coming out. Stay tuned. Go stream the old shit. Shit is already out. All right. Look these people straight in their eyes, babe. And tell them where they can find you. Plug yourself. Okay. Everywhere. You can find me everywhere. Janae Music is J-A-N-A-E. Music. If you can't spell music, you got bigger fish to fry. But. Yeah, find me everywhere, Janae Music. Instagram, Twitter, it's Janae Music underscore. I be wilding on Taylor, Twitter, so if you really not here to have a good time, don't bu- don't come bothering me on Twitter, for real. Like, come for, for the, for the, 
the pizzazz. We're going to have fun. It's going to be funny. It's going to be jokes. It's going to be some shit. If it offends you, ignore it. Because every hit dog hollers. That's mm-hmm. how I feel. Um, but music everywhere. Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal. Wherever you stream, Janae Music is there. Um, but yeah, go cop my new song, So Sick, and Nights Like This. Period. And I guess I'll plug myself because your girl is booked and busy. Period. Make sure you come to Tequila Talks live show at Union Stage on March 16th. I will be your lovely host. I swear I'm a stand-up comedian when I get up on that stage. I just be making <laughs> jokes. But it's okay. Um, I also am hosting the DMV Beauty Balls Conference. Wow. I feel like that's April. Yes, I'm hosting a whole conference, y'all. Oh, my y'all. God. It's so amazing. Um, I'm going to send Marcus the flyers so he can put them up here. Boom. yes like that and um yeah i'm happy to be back this is a great first show in i feel like you guys have seen so many sides of my girl janae music thank you i'm versatile and and she even drank two mimosas i'm gonna drink another one because yeah you know the name of the game here you're you're drinking or you're thinking and a lot of people don't think well but she does very good thinker so thank you she's the only she's the only person that's allowed to come here and think more than she drinks all right (laughs) so this is our first episode of doll talk i am so 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 happy to have completed our first episode i ain't been working i ain't been doing shit (laughs) but yeah see you next week and we're out